Shout out to the vets. Um, quick update on what's going on in Columbia. That joint is doing super trash right now. Honest. Boy, like, people are, a lot of the canceling is going on. Like, Columbia, like, you might have seen them on Vice News. Like, the situation out there is getting a little, a little, I guess, talking to people on the ground, it's not as crazy as the news makes it seem, but it's still bad for tourism. Um, one of the biggest obstacles we were dealing with was, um, 5 p.m. curfew for the city of Bogota. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to, if you have to be in the city, then that's the type of people we've been able to pick up. But like, nobody wants to take a vacation when you have to be in the house at five. You know, um, Bogota isn't the most expensive place for people in the United States to go visit, but still you take off time of work. You, you know, it's, it's not fun to do that and have to be in the house at five. Um, but some of the good things, um, we moved on to a new management company. And by management, I mean the people who are doing our um, like online marketing. So that has been working better. Um, I know you guys saw like the, the video that um, Aces Live has done for us. That was great. Uh, shout out to Ace. Um, so we're just trying to keep it moving, keep it pushing along. Um, we had to get a new legal rep. It's been a lot of changes, but I think once everything finally opens up, I think we will be killing it because we've been able to keep this thing afloat in a bad time. So I think once everything opens up, um, we got some good PR, people will be itching to travel. I think once everything opens up, if everything opens up, we'll be good. But it hasn't been smooth sailing lately. Um, this is one of the things investing in foreign real estate. Lots of things in the United States are opening up, but it's kind of like in Colombia, it's not the same thing. It's a different government. So that's one of the things you gotta worry about. Like, um, there could be people feeling like it's just political instability in the country and they don't wanna go. Even though it's not as bad as it seems as like it's on TV, um, similar to like the the Black Lives Matter movement and that some of the some of the stuff on the TV wasn't as like living in a city where some of the stuff was going on, it wasn't most of it was peaceful. It was just like of course the bad stuff is what makes the international news. So it's kinda like that more or less. Um so that, that's pretty much all I got for it right now. There's nothing exciting going on. Um, we did forge a partnership um, with uh, a group of guys down there who do tours for us now. So if you go down there and you wanna do a tour at the hotel, um, food tour. It's nice, real nice food tour, you get to see the city. If you do go down there, um, I'll put a link to book a stay in the hotel. Hotel is beautiful. Um, and I'm gonna put a link, uh, just tell me that you wanna book that um that you want to book the uh tour and i i can set it up with those guys it's going to cost you i'm not they're not going to do it for free but it, it's good if you've never been to bogota i recommend it because it's, it's it's very nice you know what i mean especially if you're down there significant other something to do during the day plug into the city you can ask guys questions like what's hot what's not it, it's definitely it's definitely lit so um ace actually did a video on it on his youtube channel so you can see like what the tour is like. You can go on that tour. It, it, it's really nice. It's really nice. Um, everyone who stays there, enjoy it. But you just gotta get people who to actually stay there. So fingers crossed that everything opens up in Colombia in the next few months. So this is Nick signing out.